Nurse Marian Sabo knows the moment this pure demands solution this pure. New Gold Bond Pure Moisture Lotion, 24-hour hydration. No parabens, dyes, or fragrances. Gold Bond champions your skin. Finding a companion at this age, it's a gift. I just love where I'm at right now. Silver Singles gave me my life back. Rediscover the magic of dating with Silver Singles. Sign up today at SilverSingles.com. Are your sneezes putting your friends in awkward positions? Stick with Zyrtec. Zyrtec starts working hard at hour one and works twice as hard when you take it again the next day. Zyrtec. Muddle no more. Kids coming in. Looks like he wants to do a little grip, go roam and rest and slip off your clothes, get all oiled up. <laughs> 100, all right. <laughs> okay. I think I'm going to hit the weights now. You are unbelievable, sir. <laughs> so, what's up, Buttercup? I can't keep up with those crazy old dudes. Do you think it'll be upset if I quit? Wow, we're gonna miss you around here. <laughs> no, I mean quit the Rangers. Oh. <laughs> Every muscle in my body. Do you have any ibuprofen? I look like a nurse to you. <laughs> Listen, I, I got an idea. I could shoot you with a tranquilizer <laughs> dart. But... Okay, but this time, promise not to draw on my face. You know, I can't keep that promise. <laughs>
too bad. Too bad, Clint. He's got you now. Give me a beer, Dan. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, that's it for sure. Too bad, Clint. Well, you can't win them all, Dan. Know the game? No, no, thanks. Go ahead, have a beer. Well, we'll let you win more often. Watch up, bro, Bill. Yeah. Give him beers. I'll pay for it. Oh, that's all right. No, no, I, I want to. I want to talk to you anyway. Oh, you don't quite ask for it, don't you? Oh, sure. Howdy. Hello, Bill. I understand you're working out at the Meeker place now. Well, that was three weeks ago. I had another job since then. Well, where are you working now? I'm not. Uh, that's what I want to talk to you about, Marshal. I see, I got a good chance for a very good job, but I need your help. What kind of a job? Tell Marshal. Tell Marshal where? Over at Coyote Flats. They need to tell Marshal where real bad, but I don't have the experience I need for him to hire me, so that's where I thought maybe you could help me. How's that? Uh, I was wondering if you could take me on as your deputy here. Well, I don't need a deputy, Bill. Oh, well, you wouldn't have to pay me or anything. Just let me work with you. I get the experience I need. Well, what makes you think this is the right kind of work for you? I know it is. I've given a lot of thought. It's the only way I can be somebody. Well, what do you mean? Do you think you're going to get a reputation with it or something? Well, man's got to have a reputation to be a town marshal. Well, I, uh, I got to get on back to the shop. Thanks for the beer. Sure. See you tomorrow, Clint. All right, Dan. All right, Clint. See, the way, the way I see it, Marshal, a man has to get a reputation with a gun. He to be somebody like you. Well, Bill, let me tell you something. You don't get a Marshal's job to make yourself a reputation. You do it to keep the law. You just hope you can do a halfway decent job of it. The way I figured, everybody looks up to you because you beat every man that ever faced you. That's all it takes. People are scared of you. Yeah, that's not much to recommend the job, is it? Uh, I've been good with a gun all my life. If I'm going to be somebody, I, I got to get a reputation with a gun. It's not that I got an urge to kill anybody, but that's what it takes. You got a strange way of looking at things, Bill. Well, I've got to figure that way now. You're going to help me a lot. I mean, simple as that. Well, I'm not going to help get you a legal right to kill somebody, if that's what you mean. Now look, why don't you take my advice? Forget about this martial business and go on back to cowboy. That's one thing I'll never do. Well, in that case, you better let me pay for these beers. You're going to need your money. Go on, Dan. So long. Twitter can still get a better value than they would if Musk were allowed to completely walk away and their stock was returned to the open market. This ongoing feud between Twitter and Musk could end up being a long legal battle. Some Twitter shareholders are already suing the two parties over how they've handled this rocky acquisition. Eric? Uh, big bucks and high stakes. Christina, thank you. Anita? Well, Eric, critics are slamming Customs and Border Protection's decision to punish border agents Despite the agency's own investigation finding no evidence the agents used violence on Haitian migrants last year. And now disciplinary action could sideline the agents at a time when CBP could use all the help it can get as large groups of migrants continue to pour across our southern border. Texas Governor Greg Abbott is now taking action, ordering state police to return migrants to the border. Our Bill Malugin is live from Eagle Pass, Texas, where he has been right on top of the latest developments there. Bill. Honey, good afternoon to you. That's right, and it appears the state of Texas has carried out the very first day. Mob at a port of entry. If we can pull up these tweets right here, Texas EPS posting this uh, earlier this afternoon, appearing to show Texas state troopers loading up onto a bus bringing them down to the port of entry here at Eagle Pass and dropping them off into the custody of Border Patrol. This is what Governor Greg Abbott announced in his executive order the other day, authorizing Texas troopers to do this, to drop these illegal immigrants right at the U.S. port of entry, taking them into custody on their own. And it appears... Who's been, uh... I think I come down here for a few days rest. Show? You got a show? A kind of a Wild West show. Well, you're figuring on bringing the Dodge, are you? No. I've decided to close it indefinitely. Maybe for good. 
In fact, they tell me the Dodge House is the best hotel in town. It's the only hotel. Well, then I don't have a choice, do I? Fair Your badge, Mr. Scudo. Thank you. And Jack, my office just down the street. If there's anything I can do for you, let me know. I'll do that, Matt. I surely will. Can I touch your bags, Mr. Dakota? What's your name? My name's Cloudy, sir. Well, I'd be pleased to have you help me, Cloudy. Yes, sir. It's been a pleasure meeting you, Doctor. Same here. Here kind of do, eh? Yeah, he's getting to be a pretty fancy dresser in his old age. I'll tell you, Doc, he used to be the best peace officer on the prairie. How old is he? No, it's hard to say. Okay, hey, Marshal. That was Jack Dakota, wasn't it? Yeah. Man, really have to be somebody to go up against him. Mm -hmm. He's probably got himself killed doing it, too. Oh, I don't know. We'd be eating as fast as he used to be. I wouldn't count on that. Man, that shot him and get himself a reputation real quick. Bill, let me tell you something. You're not going to get yourself much of a reputation on Boot Hill. Let's go, Doc. I'd like a large room, preferably on the front. Uh, yes, sir, that can be arranged. Uh, how long will you be staying, Mr. Dakota? Oh, I don't know. Maybe a day, maybe longer. I haven't decided. We'll see that you have the best accommodations. Now, that's room 18. You uh, turn left at the head of the stairs. Oh, and can I help you with the bags? No. My friend will help me, won't you, Cloudy? Yes, sir. Oh, by the way, sir. Yes, sir. Do you happen to know a Mrs. Sarah Carr here in Dodge? Why, well, I sure do. She runs a dress shop. She's just the nicest sort of person. Well, she's a widow lady, isn't she? Yes, that's right. Now, her shop is the other side of Front Street and down a ways. Thank you. Cloudy, I bet you, Porter, you don't know how to shine a pair of boots. Oh, I shine boots real good, Mr. Dakota. Well, you show me the Porter Jaws. Yes, sir. I want them to look extra special. Press this. There's my uh, deputy, Festus Hagen here. This is his soldier like the deputy in Dodge. Fine. This is Deputy Five. I'm second in command of this outfit. In two wide open towns. Underneath, another Dodge City. These two play second fiddle to no one. Festus and Five are the deputies. Come on, old friend. Go behind the badge on Gunsmoke. Weekdays at 1, High Noon Central. And the Andy Griffith Show. Weeknights at 8, 7 Central. On Me TV. <laughs> Sarah. Jack. 